concluding this year of faith, we as a diocese will make a solemn profession of faith. In fact, the entire world has been invited to do the same. We will have the opportunity to profess our faith in the risen Lord, in our cathedrals, and in the churches of the whole world, in our homes and among our families, so that everyone may feel a strong need to know better and to transmit to future generations the faith of all times. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We cannot take our faith in what we profess to believe each week for granted. Each of us should take time to study what each line of the creed means and why we claim to believe it. By confessing our faith, we say we choose to stand with the Lord so as to live with Him. In living every day in the light of faith in Christ, we can live truly beautiful lives rooted in Christ's love. Living a beautiful and faith-filled life in Christ, despite the trials and sufferings you will encounter, is a prelude to the joy and hope to which faith leads. And this joy and hope is contagious. So in faith, we cannot help but share our faith lovingly with others through our words and actions. May God continue to bless you as you go forward in faith and love of Jesus Christ.